Crypto at cost cloud mining services. Scam? Maybe. Let's talk about it. On June 10th, I released the first seven videos for this channel, and one of which was the last call lifetime crypto cloud miners. And at that time, I showed that there was a notice in the account dated June 9th, 2023, regarding the end of mining service. And it goes on to just simply say that they're just simply discontinuing the sale of one-time payment miners and shifting towards a 12 or 24 month mining contract. After June 16th, 2023, they were no longer going to be offering the lifetime packages on their order page. I also said in that video that I wasn't going to run off and buy miners because crypto at cost is notorious for ending a sale and then like two days later, a week later, reintroducing a sale. When we take a look at the account today, June 24th, 2023, and if we go over and look at the notifications, we'll see that their end of mining service notification from June 9th has been deleted. And they have not they have not made another announcement. They have not said, oh, well, you know, actually, we're going to offer it for another month. Or after careful consideration, we decided that we're not going to move to the 12 or 24th mining contract. They haven't said anything. They just simply deleted the notice. And then on top of that, they did reintroduce a sale. You can see here that now the miners are 50% off. In fact, if you look at their CCT miners, the lower cost, you know, the M1 and the M2, they're actually 60% off. And they're still talking about how they'll give you four times the cash back in CCT, which they have been doing in my experience for whatever that's worth, considering the CCT token is just locked in the crypto at cost custodial wallet and there's nothing you can do with it other than stake it. And it is 400% APY staking, which is great, but it's worthless if you can't do anything with the token. And my point here is that between the behavior that crypto at cost has engaged in that I've witnessed since becoming a customer back in June of 2022 through current day, today being June 24th, 2023, it is making it very difficult to continue to have any faith in this company. Now, to be clear, I have not made a withdrawal myself. And the reason is because I was reinvesting my Satoshis back into getting more miners because I wanted to have a much higher income before I started to make withdrawals. Number one. Number two, my brother told me that he made a withdrawal as a sanity check to make sure that it worked. Number three, my brother had a neighbor up until recently. My brother just moved a couple weeks ago. But up until very recently, he had a neighbor that had something like tens of thousands of dollars worth of miners with crypto at cost who had made multiple successful withdrawals. And then to my understanding, crypto at cost starting to withhold withdrawals. In fact, there was even a commenter on my YouTube channel Unfortunately, they deleted the comment after I responded for some reason, but they had said something like they made a withdrawal on June 3rd, 2023, and it was like a week or two after that point, and the commenter had said, I still don't have my crypto. Now, it could be that they put in the wrong wallet address for their withdrawal. You know, it's not like they showed me a video or gave me any screenshots or any, any real information to, to double check any of that stuff. But at the same time, from what I've seen from this company and from what I've heard from my brother and by proxy, what I've heard from essentially my brother's neighbor, I wouldn't be surprised if that commenter really did make a withdrawal on June 3rd and did not put in the wrong wallet address and just simply hasn't received their crypto. But on top of that, you know, this this stuff where... They, they just say wild and crazy things and they don't follow through. You know, so for instance, this company update on June 1st, 2023, you know, they, they go on to talk about, we want to express our gratitude for your support. Our team consists of part-time staff, which occasionally leads to project and communication delays. We are actively seeking funding to hire full-time employees and yada, yada. You know, there are a few misconceptions we would like to address. We want to assure you that we are not a scam. Well, well, it's, it's great that they took the time to post this, but talk is cheap. What matters more are actions. 
You know, and they go on to say, you know, we've acquired a significant amount of equipment. If anyone believes they have lost their purchases or investment, it is incorrect as we possess the necessary assets. If we needed to liquidate and reimburse everyone, blah, blah, blah. There's no cause for concern, yada, yada, you know, threatening legal action due to low or no profits or project and communication delays only hinders progress for all users. Well, no, because the reason people threaten legal action is because they don't like feeling like they've been ripped off. And it's hard oftentimes not to feel like you're being ripped off or scammed by crypto at cost. Quite frankly, depending on how things proceed in the near couple of months, I personally will probably start to invest a lot of time into seeing if I can convince like a legal team to pursue filing a class action lawsuit. Now, I understand that class action lawsuits don't really do much for the plaintiffs. The lawyers really are the ones that benefit. But the reason that I would want to do something like that or maybe find a financial recovery company to to hire, you know, for my own personal needs or, or to do something beyond just making these videos is very simple. If a company are ripping people off, especially if they're ripping off me or somebody that I know or care about, I'm not OK with that. I'm not really one of those people that just says, well, lesson learned and move on. In fact, I think that's one of the big problems in this world is people just kind of say, well, you know, it's not really worth doing anything about. It's not worth getting all worked up about. Let's just move on with our lives. There's a lot of instances where that's probably the wise thing to do. But when you're talking about corrupt government officials or people scamming people out of large amounts of money, that's not OK. Th these are not things that you should just let go. You know, one of the big problems, there's, there's a lot of big problems, uh, in my opinion, with crypto at cost. You know, they go on to talk about in this company update, if your T17 miner is not generating BTC, what do you mean if your T17 miner is not generating BTC? I have over a dozen Bitmain T17 mining packages that are not allowed to mine BTC. There might be some people that have older T17 miners that are in a different location, which maybe are still mining BTC, but they, they finally come out and say, well, you know, the power cost is 14 cents per kilowatt hour. You can verify this information. No, we can't verify this information. What we can verify is that a T17 ant miner is not profitable at 14 cents per kilowatt hour. What we cannot verify is that they are paying 14 cents per kilowatt hour. You know, another thing here is they talk about how, mind you, this is a, a notice from June 1st, 2023. Okay, today, again, today is June 24th, 2023. And it says in this update, power will be disconnected this weekend and we will commence preparations for the move. This primarily affects the T17 infrastructure and a few S19 units. The proposed new location offers more affordable power rates, enabling us to resume BTC minoring with the T17 miners. We don't have any ETA, of course, why would they have an ETA? As to when they will be running and we'll provide updates on our progress. Okay, so all of these T17 miners that you see, right? I currently have 29 miners. They are saying on June 1st in this company update that this weekend, you know, power will be disconnected this weekend. And then they go on to say in another update, of course, not the update about the end of mining service that they deleted, but in another update on June 14th, they talk about the T17 minor relocation once again, which they already spoke to 13 days prior in the June 1st company update. And once again, you know, it says here, we are currently in the process of packing up our T17 miners as the power has been disconnected in preparation of the building being demolished to build condos. And as a result, we are making arrangements to relocate. And now they're saying that this does not affect S19 miners, which once again, in their company update on June 1st, it actually says that it does affect some S19 miners right here. So which is it? It affects T17 and a few S19s or it only affects T17. Do they even know what they're doing? Do they even know what they're communicating? So going back to the June 14th, 
update. We are planning on moving to a new location that offers electricity at half the price, which will significantly improve our profitability. So that means because they were saying that they're paying 14 cents per kilowatt hour, apparently in a new location, it's only seven cents per kilowatt hour. Now here's one of the, the crazy things about all of this. All right. Bitmain is the leading ASIC manufacturer. They have hands down some of the best ASIC miners. Current mining packages being offered are the Bitmain Antminer S19 packages, specifically the S19 XP. This miner only is able to use the SHA-256 algorithm, which in turn only mines Bitcoin, number one. Number two, if the power has been shut off, not once, but twice, apparently, just, you know, I'm being facetious here, but the, the point is they've made not one, but two announcements about the power being shut off. So how then are they allowing us to use Bitmain T17 ant miners, which are ASICs, ASICs being application specific integrated circuits, which are purpose built computers. The purpose purpose of which is mining crypto. Most miners can only mine like one, maybe two cryptos because they are purpose built for a specific mining algorithm. So how then is my SHA-256 miners for Bitcoin being used to mine CCT, which is based on Ethereum? So again, if we go back in and we look at one of their notifications about the CCT token this time that they released April 24th, 2023, you will see that they say that CCT is an ERC20 token, that's Ethereum, which is used in crypto at cost for staking rewards, leverage, and trading. They give the contract. So again, how how do you, how, how in the world do you use a SHA-256 ASIC to mine Ethereum or an ERC-20 token. I'm not an engineer, you know, I'm not the world's foremost expert on crypto at this point. But to my understanding, this is not possible. Number one. Number two, if the miners have been powered down not once, but twice, how am I still getting deposits with these Bitmain T17 at miners mining this ERC-20 token? For real, somebody in the comments explain to me, please, how this is possible, because I don't understand this at all. And at the moment, I'm inclined to believe that the reason I don't understand this is because this is completely illogical. But I've made many mistakes in my life before. This might be just another time where I am making a mistake and I am mistaken and if if that is the case, please help clarify this for me and any other viewer that might be watching this. So, you know, are they a scam? Well, unfortunately, I currently don't have enough Satoshis to even attempt to withdraw, and I haven't linked my wallet to my account just yet. I wasn't in a big hurry to do that because up until much more recently, I hadn't really been interested in making a withdrawal. In fact, because I have $51 worth of Satoshis on my account mined over the last something like five or six days, and because they once again reintroduced a 50% off sale and and they're still offering the lifetime miners, I probably will pick up another miner using these Satoshis that are basically trapped in the crypto at cost custodial wallet anyway. I don't think I'm going to be investing any more fiat anytime soon because I feel feel like I would probably be investing just good money on top of bad and just just wasting my money and just being very foolish. The reason that I have bought more miners recently, even feeling this way is is really just the FOMO, right? You know, it's it's like, yeah, OK, I could spend six hundred dollars and I might lose it forever. Or I can assume that it's a scam, spend nothing. And then five years from now, say, oh, my God, if I'd only picked up a few more miners and kept my crypto at cost going and staying on top of it, I would have 1.3 Bitcoin right now. And oh my God, Bitcoin is worth $600,000 of Bitcoin. Why didn't I buy a miner? You know, classic FOMO, right? And here's another thing. You see how they're estimating that the daily deposits are only 5,850 Satoshis for this F10? Well, just a week or two ago, this was 6,090, which means that the deposits have dropped by about four percent. And in that same time, the Bitcoin mining hash rate difficulty has actually increased by about 6%. So this doesn't seem completely 
crazy, but this is also the same type of stuff that I saw last year after buying my T17 miners. You know, it went from, in fact, I can even show you, you know, let's just open up an X, this $2,400 miner. Let's change it from mining CCT back to BTC and update the mining pool. So you can see right here, November 11th, 2022. Oh boy, they gave me 11 Satoshis for that deposit. And then, oh, four hours earlier, there was 11 more Satoshis. Oh my God. That is so not profitable. And unfortunately, this this window here, I would have to go back into my logs, which what the heck? Why don't we grab an old log? So this right here are logs from 2022, from June 2022. OK, and you can see right here that that same miner 94185 that we were just looking at, which again, Right here, this miner, the $2,400 miner, the X60 miner, 94185, where it got 11 Satoshis, see? And then 11, 11, 11, 10, 11, 10, 11, 10. You know, it, we look over here and 94185 actually got 2,558 Satoshis in a single deposit. And again, down below, 2,000. 91 Satoshis, 2,520 Satoshis, you know, so it went from that to, to this 11 Satoshi, right? And then, and then it went from getting almost no deposits to just being powered off. Now you'll see here at this time, the T17 mining hardware is not profitable for mining BTC. You now have the option to change your T17 mining pool to our new CCT mining, which I mean, there's not much option here, right? You either mine CCT or you get nothing. So again, is it a scam? I really don't know. And I have flip flopped so much on this topic. I think my brother, who's the one person that I've really spoken to about this a lot, probably thinks I'm a bit crazy, which admittedly, this has made me a bit crazy. And this is just not good. Obviously, I hope it's not a scam because for one thing, I have thousands of dollars invested in this. For another thing, as you can see, I have over $9,000 worth of assets in here. And if this actually pans out in a year, I'm going to have a lot more than $9,000 worth of assets in here. I'm going to have $40,000 or more worth of assets in here in about a year. So believe me, I don't want this to be a scam, but it's damn hard to say that it's not a scam.